Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got a haul to share with you. These are items that I bought in the month of October and November. So I've got a fair amount to get through so I'm just going to jump straight in. First of all, at the beginning of October I did purchase two dyes from Winnie and Water. You do have to purchase these directly from Winnie and Water. They don't um, sell them wholesale unfortunately. Um, but I did get the Hello die and the Hugs die. Excellent customer service. They arrived pretty quickly. Um, they put in a little packet of sequins which was really sweet as well and um, yeah great great service from them and um, I have actually found out recently that they do these in SVGs so if you have a digital cutter and um, instead of actually buying the dies you could um, buy them which is really great as well so I might purchase a couple of them but um, I really like the dies very good size I'm so happy with those Next up, I made an order from Purple Onion Designs. I have to say, I've wanted um, some stamps for ages from there, and I, for some reason, I just didn't end up ordering them. Um, but I finally made an order. I've got a few little of these little kind of critters here, the little um, penguin. Probably a little bit difficult to see on camera, but you've got the penguin, um, a little mouse with a with a flower, um, a little rabbit, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, there's a little, um, this is Fawn, I have used Fawn, and this is Flora, the little owl, I have used um, her as well, but um, I, like I said, I've had wanted to order them for a long time, finally did, I have used a couple and they'll be on my blog this week. Next up, um, I made quite a large order from Make The Day Special, although same large order, they were lots of little orders separately. So I did get the October release from Mama Elephant, a couple of sets. I got the Reindeer Games, which obviously is just absolutely adorable and um, really great to use for spinner cards because you've got the um, opposite image. But also really nice that you can just have them facing each other as well, which is nice. And I did get the die set as well that coordinates with those. And then I also got the um, Blogging Buddies stamp set. Um, obviously in the crafting world you make a lot of friends online which is really nice. I really like this community. And I just thought it was quite nice. And I, but I really love the um, sentiments just on their own as well. And you've got the little computers and the laptop and things. And the little card which is really, really cute. Oh, and I did get the die set to purchase separately with that as well. And then I also purchased the um, Fine Trimmings um, die collection. I just thought they were really nice. I don't actually have any border um, strips like this. So this one stitching. The next one's got tiny little um, kind of holes or, yeah, I guess holes. <laughs> um, and then you've got a scallop stitched um, border as well. I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but um, really nice. They were all from Make The Day Special, like I said. And then I also ordered from there as well the W Plus 9. This is the gift card layers die. I saw Dawn use it on a, on a video recently um, where she made some place cards. But um, So I really love the versatility of it, but I also really like that this one here can like just cuts out the little corners. So you can pop a gift card in, which is quite nice, and you can use it... Um, like on an actual card and just on the inside of it or you can obviously make a whole feature and do a gift card holder as well and I really like all the different layers that you can use so that was quite a versatile die. Next up um, was the new release from Mama Elephant which just wasn't that long ago. I bought the mini messages set, really really cute, I love the little mini messages. Um, I really do like um, like having the option of having some small sentiments on cards and also you can put them on tags as well so you get loads of different sentiments ranging from happy birthday to merry christmas celebrate hello baby um thank you and some lovely little icons there as well they do match their little tags but um i didn't actually buy those and then I also got the Lunar Animals, which is what I wanted the most out of anything. <laughs> um, I was desperate to make sure that I got it whilst it was in stock. Just so, so cute. I love these little critters. I just think they'll be so good for loads of different occasions. You can put little birthday hats on them. You can put Christmas hats on them. Obviously, you can just use them separately. Just really, really cute. And I did get the die set to purchase separately. And then last but not least from Make the Day Special, I went ahead and got the Concord and Ninth. This is the Take a Bow die. I, I've i seen it on um, Concord on 9th and then I wasn't sure if I was going to end up purchasing it um, and then Make the Day Special got it in stock and I thought yeah okay I will buy it. If you haven't seen it I suggest um, googling Concord on 9th Christmas tree dye 
and basically it just makes a really lovely Christmas tree so you can cut out all the different um, kind of layers of the Christmas tree and pop them together like on a stick and um, just really really beautiful I've seen lots of people use them for like wreaths and things as well and also these little ones that look a bit like snowflakes so again a little bit of versatile obviously it is just for Christmas um, I guess um, I'm sure some people find uses throughout the year but um, I really liked it and I'm looking forward to making that then next I made a couple of orders from Amazon first of all I got the um, Molotow pens these are the masking pens I originally thought that these were um, latex free um, on a couple of the art sites um, in the US it says that they're latex free unfortunately they're not latex free which is fine for most people but I happen to have a latex allergy however I do believe that they are very low in latex compared to other masking products so um, I have used it and um, I left the window open <laughs> and I was okay with it um, I actually ordered the 2mm one and then the 4mm one turned up um, and so I emailed the company and then they sent me the 2mm one and said I can keep the 4mm one. So I thought that was really good um, customer service. The actual products themselves are really good price actually. It's um, a seller called Graph City and um, yeah, excellent price compared to what I've seen anywhere else. So really happy with those. Next up from Amazon Direct, I did, uh, as in like Amazon UK Prime, I got the Distress Marker Spritzer. Um, I've wanted this for a little while. It went out of um, production for quite a while, quite a few years, and then it came back. And um, you can use it with Copic markers as well as Distress Markers. I do have the Copic airbrush, but I thought this would be quite nice to use with the um, Distress Markers as well. And it just gives a slightly different look than the airbrush system. So I thought I would go ahead and buy that. And obviously you don't need, like with the airbrush, you need air cans. With this you just squish it. <laughs> so it's quite helpful to have. And then I made quite a large purchase. Um, I haven't been very well, which is why I haven't made any videos recently. And I decided to treat myself. And I got hold of the Faber-Castell Polychromos. I did buy the 60 set. Um, and I'm really happy I did and actually uh, the Amazon price has gone up since I've bought it when I was um, making sure that, you know to link everything for this video um, I found out they've actually gone up by £10 so I'm quite glad I got them when I did but really really lovely pencils um, I'm used to the Colorsoft pencils by Derwent and um, I really like them I know some people don't but I personally really really like them and these are a lot harder these are an oil based pencil as opposed to a wax based pencil um, but really really pretty colours and they blend really well and I have actually used them and I'm very happy with them the only thing was I don't know if you can see they come in you get loads of yellows you get a you know quite a few reds and some blues a couple of purples and um, some more greens you don't get many greys and I seem to use greys quite a bit so I did go ahead and purchase some separate stock um, which I really like with these because you can buy open stock and I did get some from Colt Pens so I did actually order I think an extra 10 or 12 pencils I got a silver and a gold which I just thought would be quite nice for Christmas and then I also got quite a few um, extra greys um, and then I did get um, some purples as well just because I happen to use purple a lot so I did get an extra few purples and then I got an ivory and kind of like a very pale pink as well so yeah, glad that I got those extra ones just because I think it would be a little bit easier for me to colour things but that was my haul for the month of October and November like I said I have been ill and I do apologise that I haven't had any videos recently but I do hope to get back into it soon so thank you so much for watching links to all the products will be down in the description bar on YouTube and also on my blog thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon